So we're going to start leading into kind of the inventory that we're going to be adding into the system. And the way we add the inventory items into the system is we have to add the actual inventory items if we're using a perpetual inventory system within QuickBooks and the cost of those items, which the system can then make into and determine the ending balance of this 2,896, the other side going to the equity. Now to lead into that though, we're gonna start with service items. Service items don't have an inventory component, but they're gonna be added in a similar fashion and they're gonna be easier to add. So if I close this out, the service items, if I go to the left-hand side, back to the dashboard, note that when we make a sale of items, if I go to the plus button up top, we make a sale with invoices and we make a sale with the, with the sales receipt typically. If I was to open an invoice, then the things that we sell are gonna be down here in the products and services. What we want to do as we add the invoices is make it as easy to populate as we can. We can imagine if you're at a check register at the grocery store, you can check out your own stuff basically by just scanning it. That's how easy we want the data input to be. We would like a checker to be able to input it basically. We would like to be able to input it ourselves. Even if it's our own bookkeeping, we would like to make the items as easy as possible to do the data input. That means that this section, the items, is what we have to add. Now, if they're inventory items that we're tracking in the system, then we also want the inventory to be adjusted on a perpetual inventory system if we're using a perpetual inventory method. But for now, we're gonna start off with the service items, which don't have any, any inventory component to them, but the items are set up in a similar fashion as inventory items. So they give you the default of like hours here, hours, late fees, and services. These are generic items, which are fine for some businesses. I mean, you might, you might be in a bookkeeping business or a law firm, and you're just gonna charge an hourly rate, say this is how many hours, and charge a rate for that. However, even in, in a system that is traditionally an hourly rate system, if you can bill in some other way, for example, with bookkeeping, if you're able to say, hey, look, I'm gonna bill you by how many transactions I have, if you're between 25 and 50 transactions, I charge you this much. If you're between 50 and 100 transactions, I charge you this much. If you could do something like that, it makes the billing process a lot easier to go through. So it would be great if you could set up your items so that you can make the billing process as easy as possible. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna sell actually guitars. Do you want to leave uh, without saving? We're gonna sell guitars as one of our primary items and get great guitars. But we'll also set up service items. We'll set up guitar lessons later, and we'll set up other kind of generic service items so we can see the differences of revenue generation with a service item versus an inventory item.